Hello! In this video we will make together uh, this yellow cat hat. Yes, I'll name it Checker. Uh, this is my cat, one of my cats. Uh, and he's yellow. <laughs> and I'll make this for my uh, 10 year old daughter. And you can uh, you can make uh, any size you want. Uh, I will show you how to make uh, this. And I will use a six millimeter hook, uh, two yarn, worsted weight yarn, and scissors uh, uh, and a needle. If you are ready. We can start in time you want. Please don't forget to subscribe. I will prepare this part uh, earlier. And it's almost 15 inches and 10 inches. Uh, you can measure your uh, child or yourself from uh, heads around the head and from here to shoulder. And it must be um, wide and uh, floaty, uh, not tight. Uh, think it like that. And there will be a border. Uh, at least um, three centimeters, one and a um, half, maybe half inches. And now I will show you uh, how to make this uh, with a little sample. I'll start with the slip knot and I'll make this uh, with uh, 50 chain, 52 chain, sorry. But now I will chain a little. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. One, two, three, and the third one I make double crochets. Make the double crochets all the way around and make two row more. Don't forget to count your uh, double crochets. It must be the same. And that's my first double crochet. I start uh, in the second one. Don't forget to make a double crochet into this three chain. One, two, three, and I will make one more row. Now I finish it, I'll turn like that. Take the yarn. And pull it through, chain one, make a single crochet, same place, and make single crochets. One here, and one there. I will finish it like that. You must have the uh, same uh, count with the double crochets. 
I finish my single crochets and chain 3, turn your work and make double crochets. And uh, we will make a double crochets uh, all the way along. Uh, I'll make uh, 18 uh, rows of double crochet. Uh, you can make as you want and then we will attach uh, them together. Now I will attach these two sides together like that and this is front side this is back side just make slip stitch like this and don't uh, make it tight be careful about it and I will finish this like that I join this two part together and turn it front side and I'll make this uh, I cut a very very long tail um, one of them is almost one meter or uh, maybe more uh, and then I tie them like this and ten of them is uh, the main color you use and uh, two of them is a uh, fluffy yarn <laughs> which I like uh, spread them four four and four and then just make a uh, braid uh, I don't know how to tell it <laughs> do it like as I do <laughs> do it like I do and then tie again like this and I will use uh, some of my uh, big hook uh, like this for the pass through uh, here uh, you can use a um, hook needle for this part of course That's it. And I will add a uh, more uh, tail here. I'll take this, take a yarn, just uh, make a tie around it. And we'll need a needle, of course. <laughs> and sew it. Just like that.
and I'll give this to you again this side and cut this part and now we will make the uh, ears and I will use this fluffy yarn for this I'll make one of them uh, not it's not finished of course but it will almost look like that <laughs> first we will make a slip knot and then chain 12 Skip the one, two, three, and make a double crochet into the uh, fourth one. And make double crochets all the way along. I finished first row and I have 10 double crochets with these three chain. Chain three, turn, and make double crochets all the way along I will keep doing like that uh, uh, for one row more and into the fourth row we will make decrease make one more row and we will meet again I finish my three row and now chain 2 and turn we will make our decreases uh, yarn over and pull it through yarn over and put through just two this two and don't finish it we will make this again and I have three loops on my hook and I uh, yarn over and pull through all uh, of them that's uh, three double crochet together and now we will make four double crochet together one two three and four yarn over and pull it through and now we will make three double crochet together one two and that's three chain two turn this is our first uh, double uh, crochets a uh, half <laughs> I think and this is our next stitch just make half of a double crochet and last stitch here another half and complete it and just cut the yarn that's it I'll start with the one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and this is our um, five. I insert my hook both uh, loops and take the yarn, make a standing double crochet, and now. This is seven. This is four. Make a single crochet. Okay? And then I'll start to make my three single crochet. One, two, 
and that's three. And I will make one single crochet into the same place and then turn and make single crochets this side. I will just put two single crochet in uh, around uh, one double crochet. You can make it as you want, of course. And when I came to um, finishing point <laughs> or corner, I will make one, two, and three single crochet here. And then keep doing like that. I came to co uh, another corner and I will put uh, two single here and make this two, one and two, two and make a slip knot here. And this is our ear. And now we will make the hard part. <laughs> of course, we will sew uh, these uh, ears. And I will use a wolf. Because <laughs> uh, there is a hoodie. And we need a wolf, of course. Because I don't have a little red riding hood <laughs> and I think that would be good and I will use pins Good. No. And yes. And uh, I'll make this side too. I saw one of this ear, and as you see, uh, this part is a little um, low. And this is a little high uh, because I watch <laughs> my little monster Chucker and his ears is like uh, this shape and I will sew this like that. You can uh, sew it from here. And that's finish. I will hide my tail and we will make the border. For the border we will start uh, from left side. You can start here but I want to start here. I will join the yarn and chain three and make double crochets. Mm. 
make one double crochet this single crochet row and make two double crochet uh, around this double crochets I keep doing like that and when I came here I will chain 3 and turn again and make one more row if you think uh, there's a, a little much uh, loosen up uh, you can make decreases like this make a decrease and double crochet 5 or 6 as you want and make a decrease again it will look good and now I will finish it it's almost finished but we need one more thing it's a little tiny fluffy pom pom <laughs> of course you can find the uh, video about uh, how to make this uh, fluffy pom pom in my uh, youtube channel and you can find the link below and it's finish I hope you like it I like it very much really and uh, it will fit my 10 year old daughter uh, if you want you can sew uh, this part a little like that and pom pom seems maybe much more uh, good than this and um, if you like this please push the like button don't forget to subscribe uh, and you can find me on instagram uh, Sirina Örgücü is my Instagram address. You can find the link below. And that's it for me today. Uh, hope to see you again.